Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on the Shark Stain Striker. So this is the model number PX201. It comes with this pet mess tool and it comes with the cleaning solution. Here's the spot cleaner. It's very portable and lightweight. We've got a 12 foot cord that wraps up around back. This is the dirty water tank to lift it off. You're just going to open the handle. Now you got to move the handle over to this way and now this will pop off. There's where all the dirty water is going to go. That way you can clean that all out. Put this back and then rotate the handle. That's what keeps the lid on. Once in a while you will have to clean this little filter right here. Now to put the dirty water tank, it simply just slides on. Now on this side we got two different solution tanks. We got the main solution tank. You're going to lift it up by the handle. We got a lid here. Now we're going to fill this with the deep clean. That's this solution. And if you'll notice on the top, this is the solution that you dilute. So you'll fill it up with water to the water line, and then from the water line to the concentrate line, is, this is what you use. Okay, so I've got it filled up to the water line. Now let's add our solution. So it's not going to take a whole lot of solution. Right there. You're simply going to screw the lid back on. And then this just slides on like that. Now lift the handle up just a little bit. We've got this other solution tank. Now this is for the oxy multiplier. Now this will say do not dilute. So you put this in this full strength. It says there's the max line. Okay, so let's fill this one up. Again, do not dilute. Now you don't have to use this. It says for tough stains, you're supposed to use this. Okay, so the whole bottle that whole bottle doesn't quite get it up to the max line. And so now this tank, it just slides right here. We can put the handle back down. Now let's talk about the hose. So the hose stores right here. It's got like a little groove for it to sit in right there. So it's got a really nice hose. The hose is four feet long to right here. Now up here, this is where we're gonna release. Now this is a crevice tool. So you don't necessarily have to have a tool on when I pull the trigger, solution is going to come right out here. We've got a little brush and we've got suction. So I can use this without a tool, but I do. Here's the other tool I have. Now it's got bristles, but I can flip this. And this is like these rubber bristles. I also like that I can take the machine complete or the tool completely apart and get this all nice and clean. This is the suction chamber right here. And when I want to attach the tool, you're just going to slide it on and there's how it looks. Now, when I press this, this is when solution is going to come out. Now, there's only one solution button. So when I press it, both tanks, it's going to mix. Both, both solutions are going to come out of the spray wand. Okay, so I got some really bad stains here. I got grape jelly, Hershey syrup, and then some ketchup. It's really in the carpet. We're going to give this a good workout. So I'm simply going to turn it on. I can spray some solution on there. It's got a good spray pattern, nice and wide. Now I'm going to go in there and start cleaning. And I'm going to spray too while I'm cleaning. Wow, it's doing a good job. All right, let's go over to the chocolate. Again, doing a really good job. And I'm spraying the whole time I'm cleaning. I can really scrub with the handle. Let's go over the ketchup. Okay. Again, spraying. Now I'm just going to do suction. It's got good suction power. Okay, I'm going to spray and clean the whole thing again. Okay, let's do the hose clean. We're going to take this off. And then we can slide the hose clean. Again, it's kind of like it's upside down. Slide it on, turn it on, press the trigger, and it's going to direct it in there. I like to take it off and let it really air dry the hose a lot. Kind of lift it up. Okay, I got a little stain here. Let's use this crevice tool. We got just a little nylon brush and a big suction area, and I can still spray. So let's turn it on. I can spray, you know, it's a smaller area, but I can get it pretty clean.
Yeah, the crevice does a, does a good job too. Okay, so there's how much solution we used. You know, it definitely used more of this solution. It doesn't use quite as much of this, but it does mix them somehow internally when it sprays out. So let's go over here. Let's take the dirty water tank and just take the handle, lift it out. Yeah, this thing did a really good job. Okay, so now let's dump it out. Again, remove this handle all the way to this where it's nice and flat. Now I can lift this up. And I like that I can dump this out now. And if I needed to, I could rinse this out really good sometime. So I'm very impressed with the Shark Stain Striker. I am going to be doing a video where I compare it to the Bissell Little Green. And I'm also going to be reviewing these. So they've got some carpet cleaners. They've got two carpet cleaners I'm going to be reviewing and a brand new stick vacuum with self-emptying base. So I'm pretty excited about these. These look awesome. They're definitely going to, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I imagine they're, see, it says PX200 series. I think they're going to be releasing a different model of this. It probably won't, it probably won't, won't come with the stain tool. You can buy this separately. So I'm imagining they're going to release it a little bit cheaper without that tool. Now, there, I had a few caveats. Um, the handle, I felt like you really have to wrap the hose around it pretty good. Like you got to kind of pull it a little bit to get enough slack. I like that it stores. Um, it just was a little tricky. Now, Shark is definitely going to have to put some infrastructure in. They're going to have to... Uh, so they're going to have to put these in stock at several places so that we can get this, this cleaning solution. Because right now on their website, they're sold out. Now, I did buy this with my own money. I've been buying all of these Shark products with my own money. I want to give my honest view on them. I was not paid for this video. Now, I will put links to this. I am a Shark and a Ninja affiliate. If you click on the link, it'll take you to the Shark or Ninja website. If you end up buying the product, the product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a commission from the sale. It is a way of helping my channel. Again, I think it is really, really portable. Let's do some overall sizes. So, you know, it sits here with that handle right about 12 inches. You know, with the other handle, it's right about 15 inches. Now, left to right with the hose. And the hose sticks out a little bit. It's about 12 inches that way. And about 10, maybe about 11 inches that way. The dirty water tank seemed like it was small, but it's not. It, it definitely holds a lot. I was able to clean a lot with it. Now, one thing... Getting used to taking this lid off was a little tricky. They do put the directions right here, but you got to just move this handle so that this comes off. Otherwise, it will not come off. If you don't have that, if you're like trying to pull, it won't come off. There's little grooves here, and now it'll come off. Now, one thing also, when mine came new, this rubber plug was just kind of floating around. Um, it was kind of just floating around, and I'm pretty sure that needs to be on top of this right here. So just make sure yours isn't floating around. Yeah, it should be kind of, that's a float. So when the dirty water tank fills up, it's gonna cut off suction. And there is a max fill, so this dirty water won't go above this line right here. I thought the cleaning solution, I thought it smelled okay. It definitely smells like a, like a chemical, but it's not a really harsh chemical. You know, I can definitely tell a lot of thought went into making this. Um, it's Again, it just seems really nice. I thought it did a good job. They don't talk much about the mixing of the solutions. It just happens internally. You know, I'm just guessing that it's using more of this than this, but it is mixing some of this with everything when it comes out. It didn't seem super sudsy when it was coming out, so I do like that. So this would be perfect in a car, car upholstery, a rug, um, a couch, any type of, of material like this. I think this would work really well. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really does help my YouTube channel out. I really appreciate it. If you would like to see this compared to another uh, cleaner that I have, another spot cleaner, leave it in the comments down below. Or if there is something you would like to see on this, or if there's a different stain uh, cleaning tool you'd like me to buy and review. Also, if you could hit that subscribe button, I will be doing a, a lot of videos on this, comparing it to the Bissell Little Green and other spot cleaners. I also do coffee makers and reviews. I've also got a Facebook group page if you want to see kind of behind the scenes what videos are coming up next and kind of how I make my videos and my free giveaways. It's going to be on this Just a Dad Videos group Facebook page. So underneath the video, I'll put links to all of these. I'll put a link to my Facebook group. I'll put a link to this product. 
And I've also got my own coffee brand coming out. So this is just a generic bag that came in. I just threw my sticker on it, but it's gonna be a, like a medium to dark roast Brazilian coffee bean. It's gonna be in the whole bean. Pretty excited about this. This will be coming in the next couple months. We're working on bag design right now. I really do appreciate everybody's support. Again, if you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.